this year's Formula One refueling regulations have changed the way teams go racing. Every extra kilogram of fuel slows the car down, so fuel efficiency is now one of the biggest goals. That means refining not only engine and fuel performance, but also giving race strategy a whole new focus. Ferrari's long-standing relationship with fuels and lubricants partner Shell could prove a vital boost in their championship challenge. The emphasis used to be on power, power, power. Now fuel economy is coming into it and we're all, we're all learning. Let's say your engine uses a bit less fuel than another engine. Uh, maybe you can do the, the whole race with 10 or 15 kilos less fuel than another car, which is lap time. Bad weather affected the outcome of some of the early races, but it's in normal dry conditions that the way teams manage their fuel consumption comes more into play. So we have some uh, mix on the, on the engine. With all of the drivers on their steering wheel, they'll have a button which enables them to make the engine run more lean or more rich. And really what that's doing is affecting the ratio of fuel and air inside the engine. By changing that ratio, you can use less fuel, but you will ultimately have less power. Fuel formulation is one way of changing the amount of fuel a car uses in a race. But Shell has also been working with Ferrari's drivers to develop other solutions. We've been practicing some uh, lift-off before the corners, uh, uh, breaking a little bit uh, earlier, can make it uh, slower the time lap, but around two or three percent fuel saving. When you have a heavy car, the way you go into a high-speed corner, you can go in a different way, which you use a little bit less the throttle, take it away the, the gas a little bit earlier, but braking much later. So you have many things you can do to, to save uh, a little bit more fuel. But each circuit is different, ensuring that drivers have enough fuel to finish, but end up with minimum weight once they cross the line is a major challenge. Monaco itself is, is a very, very high downforce circuit. That means basically that you use more fuel. If you look at Monza, Monza is a very low downforce circuit, so you, you tune the car to have a very low drag level. In doing that, the fuel consumption is less. Whichever circuit they're racing on, drivers now always have a heavy car to start the race and a light one to finish. Ultimately, there is still but one aim, to drive at the limit, wherever that limit may be. You're talking about completely two different uh, cars to, to drive, but you are in the limit in both directions, you know. You need to be in the limit, otherwise you're losing time. The next race on the calendar is the Spanish Grand Prix in Barcelona. This is a really challenging race uh, on the cars. There's a lot of high-speed corners and it's a very abrasive track on the tyres. But Ferrari have had seven victories there already, so we're really looking forward to a good result again.